Hello friends, welcome back to another long overdue walk and talk session. Many of you who follow my channel will know that I've talked extensively about ADHD. And today's topic is gonna be about the fact that I don't always follow my own strategies and I'm not always on point, guys. I am not Mr. Perfect that I make out to be in the videos, believe me. So even though I've talked loads about following rules and principles and ways of organizing yourself, I fall off the wagon a lot. I say at least half the time I probably don't follow my own advice especially in the last year I've really fallen off the wagon but you know you just got to get back on the horse the point of this video is just to let you know that it's okay to mess up this is what life is like guys it's full of ups and downs and the sooner you accept that and the sooner you accept that you're not going to succeed all the time the better off you are going to be mentally it doesn't matter how long you're off the wagon as long as you eventually get back on it I've been off the wagon for probably the better part of a year and it's only because I've met somebody that's inspired me and picked me up in my life that sort of got me back on the horse and maybe for you it's my channel, maybe for you it's somebody else, a family member, a professional that you find, could be anybody. So, you know, it's not a race. You don't have to worry too much if you lose your footing for a while. It's just part of the nature of life. And you don't need to beat yourself up over it because it, it's natural and it's going to happen. When things get in the way, when life gets busy, you probably will find those are the times when you fall off the wagon and you lose your routine, you lose all your good habits and you're just not able to cope for a while. Just move on, accept it, but look forward to picking yourself back up later down the line because you can do it again and another thing i want to touch on is the amount of negative comments i see day to day it's not so much criticism it's, it's the fact that people just moan and moan and moan and it's typically on the more popular videos and these are the people that usually don't check out all the rest of the content i have to offer and all the advice and strategies that they could apply now there are some people that leave positive comments because they have told me that they've used the tricks and strategies that I've come up with and it's helped them. Does it mean it's always gonna work? Of course not. Does it mean they're always gonna be able to stick to them or have the mental capacity to execute them? Nope, absolutely not. Even I struggle with it and this is what I'm trying to say. But this is what I want to see. I want to see people saying, you know what, even though I'm struggling, I'm using these principles and I've seen overall improvement but it's not perfect and that's what it's all about. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. But this channel is not about self-pity. I do not want a community of people who think they're victims and feel sorry for themselves and complain and don't do anything to try and take corrective action. That's not what I want. That's not what this channel aims to provide. I want to create a community of people that can believe in themselves and take away the fact that they're not alone and that they have unique strengths and talents. I also want people to realize that Life isn't perfect and you're gonna fail and that's all right. As long as your heart's in the right place and you wanna to try to better yourself in some way, then you can. The main thing is it doesn't really matter if you're inconsistent. As long as you get back on the horse when you notice a failure, then you're gonna be okay, you know? But even then I'm, I'm questioning, is it actually a failure or is it just part of life? You know, it's just part of the way you are and that's okay, you know? You are you and you need to learn to accept that and see the positive side of who you are. Do the research, watch more videos, dive deep into the topic and into the channel. There are solutions. So I'd say it's only been about the last few months where I've finally started to get back on track using the old methods that I've used in the past, like whiteboards, calendars, alarm systems, stuff like that, and just building a routine that works for me and this is what I'm saying as well is that you can also build a life that suits you and you don't have to subscribe to one that makes life difficult for you. Sure it's not easy to do that, it's not easy to transition to that if you have one that's not suiting you right now but it is possible and there are methods to doing that, compartmentalizing the tasks necessary to get to that stage you know and I've made videos on that as well so go and check them out. Don't be a victim guys, you don't have to be one and I don't want you to think like one either. Life gets tough, life throws curveballs at you and I get negative thoughts all the time but I mean the desire to get where I want to be is still there and I think it's important to never give up on that. 
I think some people are better off at diving in head first and starting off new habits like you would maybe with a New Year's resolution kind of thing. And other people, it's overwhelming. They're better off just dabbling and building up to it slowly. I think I'm one of those people. I don't like to have too much on my plate. I like to spread it out so it's more manageable, it's less stress. That makes it easier for me to stay on the wagon, so to speak. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this one. It's been a while since I've done a video and I thought I need to get back out there. So remember, stay strong and stay focused. Done.